Right, welcome back to my series, you beautiful human beings. Today is your lucky day. I'm going to teach you how to use that jumping skill before going out onto the trail. Last time, we showed you how to do the pump manual. Today, I'm going to do the jumping part. So let's go. Ha ha ha! Deja vu. This is where I taught you how to manual pump, but we want to double this one. So you're going to need a lot more speed to do that. So we've got this section here. This is where you can introduce your manual pump skills into manual pump in this double or just pumping it to get more speed to double this one. And this is where the bunny hop technique comes into action to doing the jump. We've spoken about this a lot, but what I mean by doing the bunny hop technique to get the jump going on is you push, push down, you're driving that front wheel up into the air, pulling up on your hips, curving, curling your feet on the pedals to lift the back wheel up in the ground, looking ahead, spotting your landing, dropping your front wheel in and your back wheel and landing safely. But when it comes to landing on a pump track, it's super important you get this ride because you don't want to over jump and kill all your speed. Look at the length of this landing. It's pretty short. So we always say when jumping, you land two wheels at a time. It's a safe way of doing it, but that's when you're out on a big jump and on the trail. On a pump track, if you land like this, you're killing all your speed. So the best way of doing this is by matching, coming in, putting your front wheel down first, pushing down through it, getting that back wheel, as soon as it hits the ground, you're pushing, you're pumping through to gain maximum speed through on the pump track. All right, I can't stress this enough. By learning the skill early on in your riding, by progressing from the smaller one to a bigger one, look at this, right? Look how steep this is, okay? You don't want to land this two wheels because definitely that front wheel is going to dig in on the bottom of that bowl and spit you over the bars. So you want to get this technique dialed in perfectly. So you want to get that front wheel in and then match it with that rear wheel and pump through. Right now I'm going to demonstrate the two ways, the right way and potentially the wrong way and hopefully not crash. Wow, that is the wrong way. Well, that was, that was super uncomfortable now for the correct way. You get so much more speed, it's way more comfortable Right, this is the biggest jump on the pump track, so I'm going to use two techniques to clear it. First off, what I'm going to do is use the manual pump technique to get the speed. The second one is I'm going to keep that jump quite low so I can clear the distance of this jump. Right, so you've built up all that momentum and speed and now you've got to use it at your advantage to clear this jump. So you don't want to use it to go up into the sky, you want to use it to keep low to clear the distance of this jump. And that all starts off at the takeoff. Right, this can get a bit confusing because I am actually teaching you how to get some air, but I'm actually teaching you to get the air, but keep it as low as possible. So your technique changes slightly. So what you want to do, instead of exploding up to get as much air as possible, what you want to do is you're exploding, but you're bringing the bike up more into you. And when you're bringing it up into you, you're pushing it forward to drive the bike low and forward to clear the jump. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty hard to explain, but just think of it as a low roof. You're coming up, you're pulling up on the bike, you're getting it up into you, and then when you're coming into the air like this, you're pushing, you're driving it forward. So it's like you're doing a mid-air pump. So you're getting it and you're pushing forward to drive that bike forward to match that landing. So what do you want to do as you use speed or get over the jump, not to get into the sky? Right, using that jumping technique that you've learned on the pump track is super beneficial when you bring it out to the trail. Such a tabletop like this one right here, you can use that manual technique to find out how much speed you actually need. Plus, if you don't have enough speed, you can kind of squash and get that back wheel down just to save yourself from doing a big case. But then when you go back up, you know exactly how much speed you need to actually clear the jump. But when it comes to a bigger jump such like this one here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to squash it first to find out if I've got enough speed to clear it because I don't want to go too high. If I just go off it, pull, don't have enough speed, I'm going to case it. But when it comes to jumping it and boosting it, you want to come in with a lot more speed. 
So you've got the trajectory of your bike going up, yet you've got the distance as well because you're going a lot faster. So with all these skills that you learn with jumping from the pump track to the trail, there'll be no time at all till you're doing this. Subscribe! <laughs> or maybe not, but never say never. Give us a like if you loved this and it helped you out.